God Made Kinder Music, Lesson 22. Hi there, Kinder Kids. Are you as excited as I am about the arrival of the three new animals from the Music Town Pet Shop today? While we're waiting for the animals to arrive, I've got an exciting piece of music for you to hear. It's from the Nutcracker Suite again, and it's the next part of Clara's story. Last time we were together, we heard the mysterious dance of the coffee. After the coffee comes alive, that gives the tea an idea, and it comes alive in a most unusual way. So far, Mr. C, the kinder kids played soft music for the sugar plum fairy, loud music for the candy canes, and soft music for the coffee. I'm guessing that the tea music will be loud, am I right? Right you are, Gerald. But the way this music leaps from low to high is going to make us want to move around. There are two places where the musical leaps happen. Listen for the first leap. Then, when you hear the second one, start doing jumping jacks until the music stops. Those were some great jumping jacks, Kinder Kids. Yeah, you were already excited when you arrived today, but that exciting music got you hyped up even more. That's one of the amazing things about music, Gerald. Your mood changes when the music changes. Music is a language that everyone understands. Hello, Gerald. And hello, Mr. Z. Hey, Sally, you're just in time. Here comes the pet shop delivery truck. Would you like to carry the little kitten to the petting zoo? Oh, I'd love to, Mr. Z. Well, hello there, little kitty. I think I'll name this kitten Feisty because of the way he's jumping around and pouncing on anything that gets in his way. A uh, Gerald, the puppy has a leash on him, so you can walk him to his place in the petting zoo. Good to see you again, little fella. <laughs> Mr. Z, I think he remembers me. Just look at how fast his tiny tail is wagging. I think I'll call him Waggles. <laughs> That's a great name for a puppy with a waggly tail, Gerald. Now, all of you kinder kids can follow Sally and Gerald to the petting zoo to help make those new arrivals feel welcome. And while you're petting the new kitten and puppy, I'll just take our little canary over to the aviary. What a songbird you are, Miss Canary. You'll be a great addition to our aviary. Well, it sure looks like everyone is having a great time with all of the animals here in the petting zoo. Hey, Kinder Kids, do you remember Mr. Z ending our last time with a hint of something about animals that were resting at the pet shop? Oh, yes. I remember that, Gerald. Kinder Kids, bring your workbooks over here to the shade under this tree. I see Mr. Z walking past the Wild Horses Corral on the way back from the aviary. Go ahead and turn to page 19 so we'll be ready for his ideas about the resting animals. 
Well, thank you for getting the kinder kids ready for me, Sally. Uh, maybe Feisty would like to hear the kitty song. Yes, he would, Mr. Z. I'd like to sing the kitty song, but we'll have to sing it very softly so we don't wake Feisty up. That's a good idea, Sally. That way we'll also be able to review the two notes that we've learned about. Uh, Gerald, would you show us the music cards for the quarter note and the half note? Sure thing, Mr. Z. I've got them right here. Perfect. Now, Kinder Kids, a long time ago in Lesson 9, we learned that the quarter note is a walk note and the half note is a slowly note. That means that the quarter note has one beat in music and the half note has two beats. So, let's sing the kitty song and remember to hold the half notes a little bit longer than the quarter notes. I love little kitty, her coat is so warm and if I don't hurt her, she'll do me no harm. I'll not pull her tail, nor chase her away, but kitty and I very gently will play. Oh look, Feisty liked that song. He stretched and yawned, but he was able to go back to sleep because you kinder kids sang it so softly. They sure did, Sally. Now, this time, when we sing Little Kitty again, let's count the quarter notes and half notes. We'll say the word one for each quarter note, and then say the words one, two for each half note. Gerald, would you sing that for us? I'd be glad to, Mr. Z. Here we go. One, 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 two. One, 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 two. One, 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 two. One, 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 two. One, 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 two. Mr. Z, that was a great review of the quarter note and the half note. It sure was, Gerald. Thanks for singing that for us. And the kinder kids did a great job of counting the notes. <laughs> I see our new puppy Waggles is stretched out on the soft grass, looking a little bit sleepy himself. Did you kinder kids notice that some animals in the petting zoo are playing and some are resting? Yes, I did, Gerald. On page 19, we noticed that there were resting animals at the pet shop too. The resting animals are there to remind us that music notes can rest also. You see, in music, every note has a placeholder. We call it a rest, because that's when the music stops for a moment. The placeholder for the quarter note looks like a wiggly worm. It's called a quarter rest because it gets one count just like the quarter note does. The difference is that it's a count of silence. That's exactly right, Mr. Z. Now, Kinder Kids, if we wanted to be quiet so we wouldn't disturb Feisty and Waggles while they're sleeping, we might put our finger in front of our mouths and say, shh. Try that with me. Let's all whisper, in the bubblegum song that we sang last time on the bus, the pop took place when the singing stopped. That was the silent quarter rest taking the place of the quarter note. This time when we sing the bubblegum song, let's whisper shh where the pops happened last time. Bubblegum, shh, bubblegum, shh, when I go a chopping, I get some. Put a coin in the slot. Turn the handle and you'll get a lot. Bubble gum, bubble gum. What a bubble blower I've become. 
wish I can blow one so round that it almost lifts me off the ground. Way to go, Kinder Kids! You just learned how to rest for one count in music. So, if the quarter rest has one count like the quarter note, does that mean that the half note has a rest with two counts? It sure does, Sally. The half note rest looks like a hat. And it rests for two counts. Remember when Joey got lost the day we visited the pet shop? He remembered to stay with a safe adult and stand next to a mailman. That's right, Sally. Now, Kinder Kids, we're going to learn the mailman song. It has both quarter rests and half rests. I'll sing it the first time to show you the rests. Then you can sing it with me the second time. Mailman, mailman, have you any mail for me? Shh, shh. Today, shh, shh, shh. Did you bring me something from a friend who's far? Shh, shh. Away, shh, shh, shh. I wrote them a month ago or better. Eagerly, I'm waiting for a letter. Mailman, mailman, have you any mail for me? Shh, shh, today. Shh, shh. Oh, I get the idea, Mr. Z. We'll say shh one time for the quarter note wiggle worm rest, and then we'll say shh, shh two times for the half note hat rest. Okay, Kinder Kids, sing along with us this time. Mailman, mailman, have you any mail for me? Shh, shh, today. Shh, shh, shh. Did you bring me something from a friend who's far? Shh, shh, away. Shh, shh, shh. I wrote them a month ago or better. Eagerly, I'm waiting for a letter. Mailman, mailman, have you any mail for me? Shh, shh, today. Shh, shh, You did that perfectly, Kinder Kids. What a smart group of rest counters you are. Now, turn to page 20 in your workbooks. Have you ever gotten into bed at night? But instead of going to sleep right away, you played with your favorite toy or looked at a picture book. Well, some of the notes on this page are playing instead of resting. Decide which ones are resting and which ones aren't. Oh, I think I see what you're talking about, Sally. If a note isn't resting, it looks like a quarter note or half note. But if it is resting, it looks like the wiggly worm quarter rest or the hat half rest. Is that right? Exactly, Gerald. So, Kinder Kids, take a red crayon and circle the quarter notes that are still awake and playing. Now use a yellow crayon to circle the half notes that are awake and playing. Next, use your red crayon to color the quarter rest blankets. And finally, use your yellow crayon and color the half-rest blankets. Thanks for your help with the notes that were awake and the rests that were resting. Kinder Kids, we've had another great music time today, haven't we? We've welcomed three new animals to our God-made Kinder Music Zoo, and we've learned how to count notes and rests. We've also learned that rests are an important part of music. That's right, Gerald. 
Even God himself gave us a good example of resting when he rested on the seventh day of creation. I think that means that rest is important for all of God's creatures and in music. And speaking of resting, uh, I think it's time we all did that. But before we leave our music time, let's say good night to all the notes and rests. Good night, notes. Good night, rests. Kinder kids, let's turn out the light in the note bedroom by coloring the yellow light bulb black. And now, quietly close your workbooks and whisper, shh, shh. We'll see you next time after we all get a good rest.
coat is so warm And if I don't hurt her She'll do me no harm I'll not pull her tail Nor chase her away But Kitty and I very gently will play I love little Kitty Her coat is so warm And if I don't hurt her She'll do me no harm I'll not pull her tail Nor chase her away But Kitty and I very gently Mailman, mailman, have you any mail for me? 